All right, praise God, y'all. Jesus bless this message in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, I'm going to give y'all some scriptures. In my Google Meets, we do scripture notebooks where you take your scripture notebook. It's just scripture. And different classes, I'll take, have you go to a blank page and put the heading, and I'll give you scripture for that topic. And then you go in your spare time and study it, break it down, dissect it, memorize it, pray it back to God, all that stuff. Help you get to knowing God's word, memorizing scripture, stuff like that. And then when you're out witnessing to somebody and you have them bring up this problem, you can go to your scripture notebook and flip right to it and say, oh, here's some scripture, bam, bam, bam. All right, so the first one you're going to do is on faith. Open your scripture notebook and put faith at the top of a blank page. Put Hebrews 11.3, Romans 10.17, Romans 12.3, and Hebrews 12, 1 through 2. The first one, it is by faith we understand that the whole world was made by God's command. So what we see was made by something we, that cannot be seen. Romans 10, 17 says, so faith comes from hearing the good news. And people hear the good news when someone tells them about Jesus Christ. Romans 12, 3, because God has given me a special gift, I have something to say to every, everyone among you. Do not think you are better than you are. You must decide what you really are by the amount of faith God has given you. In Hebrews 12, 1 through 2, we have around us many people whose lives tell us what faith means. So let us run the race that is before us and never give up. We should remove from our lives anything that would get in the way and the sin that so, e so easily holds us back. Let us look only to Jesus, the one who began our faith and who makes it perfect. He suffered the death on the cross, but he accepted the shame as, as if it were nothing because of the joy that God put before him. And now he's sitting at the right hand of God's throne. Okay, flip your page and write example at the top. Put 1 Peter 2.21. This is what you were called to do because Christ suffered for you and gave you an example to follow. So you should do as he did. Put 1 John 2, 6. Whoever says that he lives in God must live as Jesus did. Put Ephesians 5, 1 through 2. You are God's children who he loves, so try to be like him. Live a life of love just as Christ loved us and gave himself for us as a sweet-smelling offering and sacrifice to God. Philippians 2, 5 through 8. In your lives, you must think and act like Jesus Christ. Christ himself was like God in everything. But he did not think that being equal with God was something to be used for his own benefit. But he gave up his place with God and made himself nothing he was born to be a man and became like a servant. And he was living as a man. He humbled himself and was fully obedient to God. Even when that caused his death, death on a cross. So we are to be as much Christ-like as we can. Flip your page and put love at the top. Put Romans 5.8. But God shows his great love for us in this way. Christ died for us while we were still sinners. John 3, 16. God so loved the world, he gave his one and only son, that whosoever believes in him may not be lost, but have eternal life. But 1 John chapter 4, 7-12. through 12. Dear friends, we should love each other because love comes from God. Everyone who loves has become God's child and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. This is how God showed his love to us. He sent his one and only son into the world so that we may have life through him. This is what real love is. It's not our love for God. It's God's love for us and sending his son to be the way to take our sins away. Dear friends, if God loved us that much, we should also love each other. No one has ever seen God, 
But if we love each other, God lives in us and his love is made perfect in us. You say, yeah, but you say you did. Yes, I saw Jesus as a man, as the man he was, not in his glory. None of us have seen God in his glory. Nobody has. Put 1 John 4, 16 and 19. And so we know that the love of, we know the love God has for us and we trust that love. God is love. Those who live in love live in God. And God lives in them. We love because God first loved us. He first loved us. Okay? Uh, you could put that he's our deliverer on the next page. Deliverer. Isaiah 61.1. The Lord God has put his spirit in me because the Lord has appointed me to tell the good news to the poor. He sent me to comfort those whose hearts are broken, to tell the captives they are free, and to tell the prisoners they are released. Put John chapter 8, 32 and 36. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. So if the Son makes you free, you will truly be free. Romans 8, 2. Romans 8, 2. Through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit that brings life made me free from the law that brings sin and death. Okay. I want you to flip your page and put protector at the top of that page. I'm just going to give you a couple. Protector. Isaiah 43, 2, and Psalms 3, 3. Isaiah, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you cross rivers, you will not drown. When you walk through fire, you will not be burned, nor will the flames hurt you. I'm telling you can trust God no matter what you're going through, y'all. And Psalm 3, 3, but, the, but Lord, you are my shield, my wonderful God, who gives me courage. But 2 Chronicles 16, 9. The Lord searches all the earth for people who have given themselves completely to him. And I'll tell you today, there's not that many people, y'all. Not really. Not really. I know there's a lot of people say they have, but they haven't. But he's searching the world for it. So... If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I encourage you to ask him right now. If you've messed up today, I encourage you to ask him to forgive you and, and just repent and get back up and get back on fire. All right. We do have Google Meets tomorrow night. Tomorrow's Purim. We'll be, we'll be watching uh, the movie on Esther tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We open the room, start at 8.30. We'll be watching the story of Esther and uh, doing a little celebrating for Purim tomorrow, which is the 17th of March. All right, God bless you all. Thank you all for what you've done. Anything else you need is in the uh, description or on JesusDoers.com. Don't forget on Perm is a day also with the celebration we look out for the poor. Don't forget Africa, y'all. You can send it to anything in my description or um, JesusDoers.com. All right, God bless you all.